Hello everyone, Jesse's back. Uh, I really love Torchlight Infinite. I, I gotta confess, I gotta confess, come clean here. Uh, this game is really quite good. It's quite good. Um, they've got to improve the trade house. They have to. Um, and I decided to make a video specifically with some of my recommendations. Maybe by some miracle, it'll make its way over to <laughs> someone who knows someone who knows the developers. So, but uh, I think some of these problems are so bad that they have to know about them. And even in other languages like Chinese, Chinese mobile gamers, there may be some push to get some of these things done already. But here are my improvements. So as you can see, there are just a few items on the list. The very first one being something that should be implemented in any game that has a player-driven economy or any level of currency-based trading. Add the option to fully filter out items based on price. Right now in Torchlight Infinite, if you search for a currency item, every single listing of that currency item will be made available in your search result. Full stop. There's nothing you can do to control that. You cannot get rid of terrible listings. Uh, so anytime anyone is trying to scam you with a bad price on their listing, you just have to see it and you have to scroll through it and you have to hope to know not to buy it. They need to give us the option to completely filter out a certain price range. Um, and an example of this, if I would like to buy some flame elementium in the auction house, We'll go right now, trade house. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll down to the currency section, fuel, flame elementium, search. Now you'll notice right out of the gate that all of these are listed in different currencies, right? So if I happen to have 299 of this currency, I can buy this flame elementium. Well, well I have no choice but to scroll through these one at a time in order to find the deal that I want with the currency that I want. This tool, Highlight Prices, does just that. It highlights these that apply to what currency you'd like. So let's say I would like to highlight the Netherrealm Nether Resonance, confirm. I didn't even do it. I literally didn't even do it. All prices, min, zero, max, whatever. Voila, it's highlighted. This is not good enough. In fact, it's still awful because look at this, page five. Do you know how many pages and pages and pages of people have listed Flame Elementium? What happens if this game gets bigger? God forbid hundreds of thousands of people are trying to do this at once. It is completely non-sustainable. So that is the first item on the list. It's got to be addressed. No question. <laughs> you have to be able to fill it. It's actually, to me, it's almost fundamental to it. Any, any trade house that has currency as an option. Um, I'll, I'll add the ability to preserve filter conditions is my number two. Right now, if I hit the space bar... I just closed all my windows, right? If I go back into the trade house, oh, well, this isn't the right example. If I'm doing this, return to search in advanced, uh, search criteria energy to confirm. So if I close out of this and then go back into the trade house, all of a sudden my search is gone. It just takes it away. It like clears it. I don't know why it clears it every time you close out of it. I really, really don't like it. It irritates the shit out of me. Please let us preserve filter conditions. Add a simple vertical list view. Oh my God. For PC players like myself. Now, I, I keep coming at this from the mobile versus PC angle. Same with my last video. A lot of things are UI related because of the a cell phone or a tablet. It's a tiny, teeny little device. I am dealing with a nice big monitor. 
please give me a vertical list, please. I will do anything for a vertical list. This uh, active skill, let's look at, um, oops. Let's look at, let's just look at all shit. Let's look at all level 21 skills. How about that? Confirm, search. So this is, is, this is the most that I can see. The absolute apex of the technology that it will provide. That's one, two, three, four, five by five. That is 10. 10 total of all the level 21 skills. Normal display, it shows three. Shows three items. That Those are my two options to switch through. I either see three level 21 or I see 10. I'm going to pull over a quick example that I happen to have pulled up in another tab here. This is the Path of Exile trading for currency. See this? This is obviously very, very like refined. This game is older. There's a lot more players playing it. But if I wanted to purchase Ancient Orbs with Chaos, this is how the results would come up. Figure your shit out, Torchlight. I mean, come on. All right, next on the list. Add keyboard and scroll wheel navigation. If you're going to force me, force me into only seeing 10 of the items that I would like to see, at least let me hit side. At least let me hit tab. Let me, let me do, let me scroll with the scroll wheel, please. Please. Okay, sorry, I'm not trying to sound bitter. I do love this game. I just want, to, I want, I want to see the best for it. I want the best for it. And then finally, add a closed top window hotkey. This is not just a trade house problem. It is a fully game, entirely game related problem. It is so irritating to have to click. You have to click somewhere in order to get out of this. If I hit space bar, it closes everything. If I hit escape, it closes everything. I don't want to close everything. I just want to close this dark gate that I have pulled up. That's it. The same problem applies for the inventory, and it's so irritating. You basically are forced into clicking. You have to click with your mouse. This is the mouse, the button. I have to click for every single action that I'm taking on this stupid trade window. Please let me use at least a couple hotkeys. Okay, that's it. Rant over. Catch you next time, folks. Goodbye.